hello everyone welcome back to my youtube channel so if you guys are new to my channel then i hope you guys stick around because all i really do on this channel is share my journey in becoming debt free and i share my cash envelope stuffings every week i get paid every thursday so i usually just like to jump into it i really don't like to talk a lot but yeah so i'm just gonna get started so income this week i got paid 752 with 85 cents i'm going to go ahead and stuff 508 and isn't this bank slip so cute i updated my cash envelope wallet so now i have new ones and i got them from a youtuber here on youtube um her name is monet monite montes sorry i don't know how to say her name but i'll go ahead and leave it here or in the description box but yeah let me get started so for gas i always put 60 so i do 220s and i think two tens 20 40 50 60. so i do it like that because it's easy for me to just go in and put 30 each time so there's 60 for gas for spending, I actually got extra money for my mom because I helped her with something. So literally that was left over from last week was like a dollar. So I'm going to actually only leave 50 in here. One, two, three, four, five. 50 plus the spending that I'm adding to my from my pay this week is going to be 20. So I have 20, 30. 40 50 60 70 70 bucks for spending cart maintenance is going to get a 50 so car maintenance now has 120 i need to get new brakes for my car need a hundred dollars more food for this week is going to get only 20 and I did not spend so now I have 30 oh. but yeah if you guys are interested in these cash envelopes I did get them from a youtuber here that I honestly enjoy watching her channel i only really follow two people on here because i like it when youtube channels keep it original and they have their own things and they're not following everybody else's kind of thing you know that's what i really like to see on here but anyways let me go ahead and start the sinking funds so the sinking funds are the things that i'm saving for or put money aside for every week or when i can so for rent, it gets eighty dollars. Okay, so I'm gonna move these guys. Okay, so how did I did it? I don't remember how I did the breakdown. So I'm just gonna guess five, seventy, eighty, and I think I did eight ones. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Let me see if I did that right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. So five, seventy, eighty, eighty, eighty-eight. So I put eighty-eight dollars a week for rent. Rent is just money I give to my mom each week. I did it like this because it's just easier for her to have money every week than just a big large sum because she is a spender and I think it helps her more like that so for school this week I'm going to put $11 so 10 and 11 
and I believe this is finally an even number. <laughs> I don't know if it's just me, but I really like to have even numbers instead of odd numbers. I'm very weird. Anyways, for score, I have 100, 120, 130, 135, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40. So 140 for school. There we go. For car and apartment. I am not stuffing this one. But I guess I'll add two dollars from my leftover money so it doesn't get nothing. So two bucks added. So now car and apartment has 20, 30, 35, 40, 41, and 42. For my retirement envelope. I'm going to add five dollars. So now this envelope has 100, 120, 130, 140, 150, 155, 20, 30, 40, 50, yep, 155. For my debt envelope, I am going to go ahead and add 50. Yep, 50 bucks for my debt this week. So I'm going to go ahead and add the 50. So I'm adding the 50 plus I'm adding a 10 from the left from my mom from the money that my mom gave me. So now this envelope has 50, 70, 80, 90, 100, 150, 15. So this envelope has 115. which is a great start to this month. For medical, I'm going to go ahead and add $5. So here's the five. I'm good. <laughs> so just getting a five. And I guess, no, I'll just leave it. So this envelope has 100, 150, 155, and 160. Event is going to get forty dollars. So forty. Did I open it? No. So now this envelope has a hundred, a hundred and twenty, hundred and forty, sixty, eighty, hundred and eighty one, hundred and eighty two, hundred and eighty three, hundred and eighty four. 184 for events. I do have two events planned for this year, which they were supposed to be for last year, but they got postponed to this year. If they're gonna happen, I don't know, but I'm still gonna save for it. So now moving on to my savings challenge. I'm just gonna need that. So my savings challenge this week. Is going to get 100 so now in the envelope I should have one thousand and thirty dollars I finally reached the 1k goal on camera so that is nice I am gonna deposit this ASAP because I'm not trying to have it in here but finally reached the goal oh my god and then for the second savings challenge, which if you guys are new, 
I am saving up to give back to the homeless. So this week, that envelope is going to get $15. So in the envelope, I should have $120. So here is the 10 and here is the 5, 15. I'm putting it back. So that envelope now has 120. So my travel envelope is going to get $40 also. So here's the 40. And then I am going to go ahead and add, I guess, another 20 from the leftover money that I had earlier. So in total, I'm going to add 60. Oh my god, I'm so happy for this envelope. <laughs> it looks like this. I made this one myself. So this envelope now has 100, 120, 140, 160, 180, 200. 220, 230, 240, 245, 246, 247, 248, and 249. 49. So I guess I'll add a dollar to make it even. So it has 250. Yes! So excited for this envelope. So moving on to celebrations. Celebrations, I didn't add anything. I didn't budget anything, but since I do have leftover, I'm going to go ahead and add, wait. No, yeah, I didn't. So I'm just gonna go ahead and add a five. So celebrations now has 50, 70, 80, 90, 95, yeah, 95, 100, 101, 102, 103, 104, 105, and 106. 106, I hope I did that right, because you guys know I'm always counting wrong, it's so annoying. <laughs> so family this week is going to get $2. I used the money because... My nieces were begging me to get money for some chores. So, of course, I had them clean my room. <laughs> so, I'm adding $2 to that one. And I'm also adding $2 to business. And I'm left with one buck from my spending envelope. So, I'm just going to go ahead and stuff the last one. So, I'm adding $1 to this one. So now my annual bills has $52. So. so yeah, that's the end of my video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys subscribe to my channel. And also, I made a... Uh, an Instagram account just for this YouTube channel, so my budget channel. So thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.